and we did not hyper focus on impeachment. We gave it the appropriate weight and time and, and consideration. It's emotional in a very good way. I feel like I'm doing something important. It feels like a weighty responsibility, uh, hopefully once in a lifetime, uh, but it also feels like an extraordinary privilege uh, to be able to stand up for this country, to be able to stand up for the Constitution um, for future generations. So it feels both weighty but uh, an honor. Well, we're ending on a lot of notes. I don't know if you've seen the number of important pieces of legislation along with a trade deal. Well, I was putting together the conversation I had with Elijah Cummings literally the week of July 25th, uh, seated on the floor of the House, and he asked me about me and my district and my family. He told me about himself and his father uh, and his mother uh, and how his father watched him get sworn in. And he looked across the House floor and up into the gallery, and he said, Madeline, 300 years from now, your ancestors will remember you were here. I didn't really get it to be honest, what he was saying. But over the course of these past weeks and months, I'm seeing that more clearly now. Uh, I'm seeing what he meant. What he meant is, while they may not remember my name, they'll remember we were here. They'll remember what we did in these days. Uh, it was a, 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 an emotional and mental toll. Uh, I could feel it myself, I know the rest of us did, um, and that really was sort of the apex of uh, weeks and months uh, of both an emotional uh, and mental intellectual toll. But the cost is much less than what I think I got out of it, which was a chance to uphold an extraordinary responsibility that I have. Well, what I'm hearing from friends, family, and uh, constituents, you have to imagine I'm a little bit uh, preoccupied, so I'm not, I wasn't home to talk face to face, I will get that chance, uh, is uh, a, a sense of the gravity of the moment, the historic nature of the moment, uh, and so many have used the word proud. They're proud I'm here. Costs. Uh, we, we're dealing with equity. We've passed so many important bills here. Well, this has been an extraordinary year for my family. Of course, I was honored to be sworn in January the 3rd. Uh, and just in the last six or seven weeks, I have had two grandchildren, one born on the West Coast, Ella, and one born here on the East Coast, uh, Sawyer. So it's been an extraordinarily um, important uh, year for this, my family, the Canaan family. Um, but I have to tell you, my family uh, knows that I'm doing what I ought to be doing, what, what we were all called to do. Uh, so while it's been terrible not to have enough time with my family, I'm looking forward to more time with them. Uh, it, it, I, I couldn't be um, more honored that I'm here.